Why doesn't it tell me how much time I have now? Oh, I wonder if this is recording. Did you phone it your thing? Um, I know that there is space, but I didn't format it. Let me just film this intro and then I'll sort it out in the Uber. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Wendy channel. The Black Wendy here. So I know that I had said that I'm going to post a whole lot of recaps because I didn't have a laptop to edit videos, but I had a lot of content. But I actually just decided to live in the present moment. So we're just going to pick it right off from here. Today's Thursday and my baby surprised me with a little brunch date we're going to a market which is incredible because i've always wanted to go to a market the last time i went to a market in Joburg was when i first moved here and that was it so i'm really excited hi baby what's going on what's going on baby? <laughs> let's go to the market let's go to the market <laughs> This is the outfit for the day. These are the vibes. These are the vibes. These are the vibes. I'm wearing my Air Forces and I'm gonna take this jacket with. Do you remember when we fell in love? We were young again in a something. Do you remember how it all began? Gin like bubble tea, but gin. So what is this exactly? Gin balls. Gin balls. It's like a shot of gin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like gin balls. It's like gin balls turned into gelatin. More like bubble tea, but yeah, gin inside. So it's alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the conversation I had with her. I was like, is this actual this alcohol? Is the alcohol in here. <laughs> What's the wow? She keeps saying tea. I don't want no tea now. <laughs> yeah, so this is the game. Pineapple maple syrup. Pineapple maple syrup. Yeah. Okay. And then you stir it. Yep. You can also add it to your dessert. Oh, yeah. I want one too. And they said this is cold. What is it called? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. What's the name for? No, you mean this is how it looks? Yeah. Let's <laughs> name it. Yeah, huh. maybe. <laughs> it's gin and what? It's gin and lemon. I think maybe because it's warm. I don't know. <laughs> Let me taste the actual balls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I don't like the balls. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like alcohol. So it po I love you alcohol. Like, it but the way Oh that's good. I think I think the reason why I don't like it is because I had the balls alone without oh, the no. without the thing. Yeah, with well, mix it all together, just chew it. Mm, I literally just had two balls explode in my mouth and I was like, hell no. Why would you, you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? Let me add the Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go for another try. Okay. No. Well. <laughs> I still don't know how I feel. <laughs> I don't think it's my favorite thing in the world. It feels weird. 
but that was a nice taste. How do you like it, baby? I thought it was delicious. You drank all the juice, or the, uh, the drank? Yeah, <laughs> you drank all the, the drank. mixer. And then you started popping the little gin balls in your mouth by themselves. Yeah. So it felt like you're just drinking, you're raw dogging gin. And that was literally you're horrible. Raw dogging gin. Literally the opposite of what you're I mean, to. even with the drink, I wasn't like a fan. I'm not a fan. It's fine. It's okay. Not a fan. Okay, so Muchi liked it. Um, so guys, we were at the prison market, prison break market. Um, Muchi can tell you guys more about it because he brought me here and he knows like the history of this market. I don't, but I do love it. It is incredible. There are so many food stations um, and there are like different blocks in here. I'm gonna take you guys along the journey, obviously. <laughs> the journey. I'm gonna take you guys along, obviously. Um, but like, I'm so excited and I hope that I can like get a souvenir or something. We'll see. These are drunkard jams. They've got gin. This is jam infused with gin. So what? for breakfast, you can get drunk. But with your family and they're only you eating toast. You know what I mean? Like, you say, mom? <laughs> Uh, kids going ready for school, walking up, first period, fucked up, <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> You'd have to honestly put that so far from children. You just keep wondering why, why, why adults keep eating toast. You want to have some more toast, John? Uh, what's in this toast, brother? So basically this is the, op this is the, the alcohol equivalent of a space muffin. <laughs> actually, actually, it's an alcohol edible. I'm going to get some of that before we dip. <laughs> I have a feeling that this place is gonna take my coins. And I'm okay with that. Whose coins? My coins. <laughs> Your coins, but my coins. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. We will be back. The Yard Eatery. Oh, this is a nice place to sit and eat. And this is the place that I, this is why I chose to come today because... You want to go there? This place only opens from Thursday. Oh. It wasn't open yesterday. And it only opened now at 11. I don't know what your angle is. So guys, my baby just bought me a candle. Well, bought us a candle for our house, but he bought me a candle. I was like, I love how this candle smells. And he was like, we're getting this candle immediately. Um, so now we're at the section of the market where there are clothes and like art. Oh my baby a candle because ball is ball, son. <laughs> Tolenda <laughs> Dinamali. High value woman. High value woman. I think you uh, high value stay woman. Stay at home, guys. girlfriend, what is it? Yes. Stay at home, girlfriend. Allowance. Uh, why are you here? You should be at home. <laughs> stay at home. <laughs> um, but y'all guys, as you can see, we are at the part now where they sell clothes and like arts and handmade shit, you know what I mean? And it's always just so beautiful. I want to buy everything. Muchi and I are traveling soon and I just, I feel like I'm going to buy everything where we're going as well. I want to buy everything. Hey, baby. What baby? Okay, baby? Oh, that is stunning. Oh my gosh, I love that. 
Do you want it? I want that. Okay. I know exactly where that'll go. They say, baby? Huh? Who brought the Azul? What the Azul? Oh, that is Oh, that is one. This one is so much cheaper. It's like 115. You can put like whatever you want in it. Including Azul. Who ordered Azul? <laughs> Who ordered 1818? <laughs> Who ordered Shiraz? Alpel. <laughs> <laughs> Who ordered Black Label Beer? Zonge, the Zonge Bonge. Ah. We are up, my boy. <laughs> Yanga will go down and that. Yanga. This will put tequila in it, baby. Who ordered Azul? Actually. Tequila at the crib? If it had a lid, it would be perfect. Yeah. I don't like that it actually look like a, looks like a vase. Our guests would be like, oh, you're making us drink out of vases. <laughs> this is so cool. So guys, I'm getting this. I have a friend of mine who loves tea, who's coming over for a sleepover. And I'm getting this for our treats. And she comes over. That purple vase has to be my favorite purchase of the day so far. And then? I might need one of these when I go meet your family. <laughs> Buy it! <laughs> So sharp, Where now is you? Tell where now? Baby, your shit. I put this down in the air. Tell it, it don't be him. Where now is Zulu, bro? Where now is Zulu, bro? Oh man, this looks dangerous. This is a weapon. It literally this is, is a weapon. One hundred percent. Cute, sure. With Elgin? Yeah. Killing machine? Absolutely. <laughs> Death is imminent. <laughs> Why does this look like someone I know? What? This one. It's like every nigga in case it is. <laughs> You're actually the worst. You're really the worst. Did you make these? How long does it take you to make the space? Um, I just like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. It's very impressive. Yo. Stunning. body is this? What was the inspiration? Whose body? I was just copying this one here next to this, this one. Oh, this one? Yes. Ooh! Now these are really stunning. Thank you. There's a Mexican place. The engine. <laughs> so there's like Mexican food. There's a seafood place. Um, there's a whole bar situation, like a whole bar setup. There are pizza places, Konishisa Nyama, and we're just like, we honestly are starving and we don't know what to select because there's also that pressure of you at a market, you know what I mean? She's a Nyama at a market where you can buy at home. So we're trying to make interesting choices. 
and we're running out of time so hopefully we'll decide soon so guys we have decided to do something that Michi and I literally always do um, I ordered ribs and wings and an assortment of things actually from the barbecue place and he ordered some Mexican food and some dim sum and we're just basically gonna have a platter and whatever's left we're gonna have later at home and we're gonna get drinks and we're gonna chill out here it's such a nice outdoor area it's empty right now because it's a Thursday um, I think their busiest days are during the weekend but it's open from Wednesdays um, the prison break market and yeah so we're just chilling out here and we're gonna eat some food um, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that we bought from the market so far well that Muji has been buying me you know guys I honestly feel like I'm in a relationship with someone who wakes up every day and asks himself like how can I make Wendy happy today and he just does that literally that has been our entire relationship this whole year and I've just I can't even I can't even describe how grateful I am to have this kind of friendship and this kind of relationship um, where someone just like knows you and understands you and just exposes you to everything that makes you happy you know with that said I'm ready to get the drinks flowing and my baby is back from his dim sum run and I'm gonna go for a drinks run Joints, muscle spasms. It's one of my best things. How does it feel, babe? It feels good on the skin. Give it a Because you know, I have a bunch of oils that I use on my body yes. for pain relief. So I get very tense muscles. Thus, you will feel the effect within 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Chip. Vanilla chalk chip. Vanilla chalk chip. I don't know what I want. So guys, we have enjoyed the market and um, we're leaving now. We've just ordered our Uber. We bought some desserts because we don't have time to enjoy it here. Uh, but all the better because, you know, when the munchies kick in, I'm going to have something to enjoy them. <laughs> when the munchies kick in, what? When the munchies kick in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we're gonna go to Muchi's place. I have some things to pick up, and uh, some of these things are his, and some of them are mine. So we're gonna separate that, and then I'm gonna go do my hair. I'm taking these braids off and doing something different. I have a lot of shoots coming up before we travel. Um, I don't know yet. If I get wave, if I get something that comes as a song, <laughs> that actually looks fire, baby. Okay. I think you're onto something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go get my hair braided now. That's probably the next thing that you guys are gonna see. The girl is also tipsy, of which is good, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, looking forward to all that. So I'm back at the crib and this is basically the vibes. These are the vibes. I got some curls going. Um, I just wanted something super simple. My hair is still very short as you guys saw in the clip. Um, so I can't do my usual size. Like if you know me, you know that I love 
a box braid, like a big chunky long box braid, but we couldn't do that because my hair still short. So we're just putting it in these protective styles. My birthday is in exactly a month. It's, it's the 7th of July today. My birthday is on the 8th of August. And I have an idea of what look I want for my birthday. And so I didn't want this look to be too close to that look. But I still wanted something that I can go to the gym with and like something that'll actually grow my hair. Um, I have a short story time for you guys. There has been a lot that has happened since the last time we spoke. So not me requesting an Uber. And in Gabon, the Uber is a two-zipella. It's one minute away. Lomutula, you know? So I go to where it says that the guy is, and it's outside Checkers at Rivonia Village. And so I go there, and I see the car, but there's no one in the car. So I was like, is this the car? Like, it was also weird. Um, I need lip balm. Shout out, Fenty. Anyway, so there's no one in the car. Next thing, I check the app and he sends me a message saying, hey, I'm in checkers, like paying for my stuff, like for bread. I'm in checkers, I'm paying for my bread. I hope you don't mind. Mind you, it's dark. What time is it now? It's like going for eight o'clock. It's 10 past eight. Ravonia is about 10 minutes away from me. So it was like quarter to eight at this point while he was still inside checkers so it's like i'm paying for my bread do you mind i'm like you know what it's fine you know i'm like i've had a good day also i've needed someone to wait for me today so it's it's fine like i'll wait one two and it's fine because it's in a center it's at ravonia village so it's like it's not like I'm stranded in Gakoyi, but still, it was getting empty and like random people were like walking. I was just, I was like, this is not, this is not healthy for me. I need you to come out now. But I didn't say anything to him. To him, I just said, okay, but please hurry because it's dark out here and it's not safe. Vibes. I waited for a while, I'm not going to lie. But I pulled me and dum dala shame. So I'm like, you know what? No, it's fine. Um, and he's like, do you need help with this stuff? And I'm like, no. Gingeni mo tweni. Next thing, now I've had AirPods on and I have this like slight headache that's just like, yeah, boy. In my mind, I'm like, yo, I need to get home. I need to eat something. And I'm like, oh, do I have painkillers? Do I have, yeah, boy. It's like, me now. Have you watched Titanic? I was like, well, we're not going to do is this small talk i was like there's just no way titanic titanic am i about to have titanic banter i was literally like there's no way oh uh, no way so i was like yeah i have and he's like listen to the song and he plays the song and it's, it's this like instrumental it had like jazz vibes but also sounded like Ingom, as I say, we're sailing without the lyrics, without the vocals. It was, it had this like harmony to it. So it was actually quite a nice, calming, soothing song. Um, and he's like, this is the song that they were playing before it sank, you know? And he tells me what the song means. And he goes on about the song. And I was literally like, bruh, I am not the one. I'm not the one for the story. I'm not the one for this. Next thing. And guys, they go in Zagale, ni nga pambili nga bang anye no driver in Sinkeli we pass and jang drive. I don't know what happened between him and this car, so he would bah! and he like says Guti like, hey man, like this is a one lane, this is a one turning lane or something. So we were turning and this guy also turned, but he was in a straight lane. Something like that was happening, and then this guy now panics and he does something on the road, it, like he reacts in a way that's worse. Like the way that he positioned his car with between the lanes was, I was just, I was like, I feel him. And Ngikala Bang Ankaste. We ended up becoming extra in this film. 
that little thing passes and then he starts talking about how bolt drivers can't drive sharp vents about bolt drivers and then something else happens and he reacts like a that's in the other car now i'm like am i dealing with umutu that has road rage here no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am i need to get out of this car i literally was like because there's no way he literally starts shouting at this person now my thing is road rage is brave because you have no idea you have no idea what that person is capable of and we've all seen how people can react in a moment you know park their car come to the car and be like what's up nigga you want to go you know i was like I don't want to be in this movie and cost me. So then I sat there and I was like, this old innocent man is about the streets. Like he's about the, and I was like, I just don't want to be part of this. Anyway, needless to say, I'm home safe. I like my hair. It's nice and pretty. And I'm a simple girl, shame. I always do things that I can just tie up. If it's not going all the way down, it's going to be all the way up. So I'm going to stop this day over here. Tomorrow we have kind of a busy day as well. We're going to the gym in the morning. And then we have therapy. And then we have a sleepover with Mo. I'm sure you guys know her. She's a new friend of mine. Um, we just started like really being friends early this year we met at uh dennis's birthday party dennis ngango last year we met there we clicked and we kind of like spoke on and off and now we are like hey man you're a vibe you're a vibe and i just recently furnished my entire apartment like i refurnished the whole thing but i want to shoot a separate um apartment tour vlog for that and there's also a huge announcement that's coming with that um so we're just gonna film it together and i know that you guys can see like little things and if you follow me on instagram you've seen me post on my story obviously i'm not gonna like hide anything um but i'm gonna officially film an apartment tour um maybe in august or something but um yeah so she's coming over for a sleepover because now i have my guest bedroom actually has a bed in it it looks beautiful my guest bedroom is the most beautiful room in my apartments in my opinion um so she is coming over for a sleepover and it's been so nice to host my friends for sleepovers and have them like have another option instead of sleeping in bed with me they can decide to sleep like in the guest bedroom which is cool anyway i'm gonna get myself some food thank you for listening to my little event sesh love you guys see you tomorrow bye everybody today is what's the day today it's a saturday it's a saturday saturday the 9th of july and the girls are up are they, are they really <laughs> <laughs> let me let me show you how the girls are up <laughs> the girls are up <laughs> one bathing in a onesie <laughs> This is actually such a smart idea. I can't believe I haven't done this myself. I'm telling you, your house is a gym. You look super comfortable. I'm very comfortable. I love this for you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I was telling Mo earlier that I had this dream. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I had this dream, you guys, that um, I was at this like event or whatever. And um, Trevor Noah was there. And... <laughs> and he recognized me so he not recognized me as in like oh you're the girl like we recognize each other like we're mates like we're boys like we're guys you know so he like rested his hand on my shoulder while he was like talking to someone you know how it'd be in events right like he's talking to someone but he also like wants to engage with me here so he puts his hand on my shoulder so that i don't move or like go anywhere so then i stand there like an idiot so i'm standing there waiting for him and then he turns around and 
you know when you're at an event or wherever actually and someone's like going in for a hug there's like this body language situation so he does that and as i'm going for a hug he stops and he's like mm -mm. and like he puts his hands out like nah and i'm like what and then i woke up my alarm went off i woke up quickly texted mo i was like give me 30 minutes <laughs> and you saw something else <laughs> I was like, give me 30 minutes. I'll be out. I'll be right out. Went back to sleep to fix that. Because that was rude. So I was like, I'm going to go back to sleep and fix the situation. And be like, bruh, why won't you hug the girl? Tried to go back to sleep and I obviously couldn't. Started dreaming about my relatives. And I was like, no, this is the wrong clip. They're playing the wrong clip. I was like, why am I dreaming about my cousin? Take me back to the Trevor Noah experience. Take me back to that Trevor Noah event so I can ask him why he didn't hug me back and in the dream you guys i was like but now do you know that on social media there's a gif of me going in for a hug and you going like nah and i was like how do you think that makes me feel trev i even called him trev like we were boys do you know what i mean like he's wrong for that trevor you wrong for that Oh my gosh, it's so dark in this apartment. Oh my god, I'm wearing glasses and I'm thinking that it's dark. It's dim because of the glasses. Hey guys, so we are back from the park and uh, we just got ready for, what is this? This is dinner at this point. Yeah. It's like four o'clock and we're about to have our first meal. Never come oh for gosh, a sleepover at my house. Mm -hmm. We had smoothies. That's food though. Yeah. I'm terrible at sleepovers. Never come sleep at my house. No, you will starve. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gonna go out now for lunch and drinks and we're gonna come back and chill again because we've decided to extend this sleepover because I'm amazing and I'm amazing presence and Mo was just like I can't get enough one night is not enough who asked you to stay? I think my battery's about to die was this your perfect 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 sleepover? <laughs> You know what I thought you were going to say. You know where the danger is. <laughs> you know where the danger is. It's in this house because I don't feed my guests. <laughs>